Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we fought and finally defeated the bear. That's what I call it. It's, I guess, called by the locals the master. Got back to the Aurora just in time, and... Well, now we're making plans for the future, and things aren't looking great. We're heading into... I think it's Novi something, and it's in apparently incredibly full of radiation. Anna's sick. We're being sent out ahead as a scout to try to look for some of the medication, the experimental medication to help Anna. So let's look around, see if there's anybody else left to talk to on board the train, and then probably head out. We already spoke with everybody in here, kind of planning what we were doing. Oh, can I shovel coal again? Oh, heck yeah. That was satisfying. <laughs> what if you got a good karma sound from that? You helped fuel the train. Good job. Let's actually stop for a smoke and look out here. Oh god, I hear sounds of radiation. I think they said that the radiation at this point right now is about as high as it was in Moscow, and we're not even at a city yet. It's only going to get worse as we get closer to the city. It's cool staring at all this stuff go by. It's nice to see something other than weird floating grass. It's also kind of nauseating to look out. It's so blurry. Катя, поверь, твоя мама тобой бы гордилась. Спасибо, Алёш. Я так надеялась, что справлюсь. Но у Ани, похоже, очень неудачно все совпало. Газ этот на мосту за годы сильно выдохся. Но его хватило, чтобы запустить разрушительный процесс. Конечно, моя надежда на воздух и долину, это было наивно. Но ведь и с долиной, в конце концов, тоже. Да, воздух, вода и лес. Все это там есть, конечно. Но, увы, ненадолго. Жалко, народ там неплохой. Думаю, мы с ними нашли бы общий язык. С плотиной так все плохо? Да. Хотя даже если плотина еще долго простоит, почти треть долины уже загажена радиацией. На дне водохранилища за годы собралась вся дрянь, выпавшая выше по течению, и просачивается потихоньку с водой. Ну а если плотина не выдержит? Хоть бы послушалась моего совета. Послушались. Любишь ее? Да. Если это судьба, ты ее снова встретишь. Обязательно. Так, пойду я, а не проведаю. Конечно. Передавай привет. Yeah, everybody's got to be feeling pretty helpless and hopeless right about now. Anna's sick, and the place we thought we could settle down in would be a perfect haven turns out to be just another place. Full of radiation. It's unlivable. At least for long, anyway. Собирай, братву, всех, кто есть. 
I think that's the bandit speaking. Also... Also, the fact that they said the forest people are on the move is good. That means they, they listened and they're actually getting out of there before the dam breaks. Novosibirsk, that's the place we're going to. This is probably a really old message, I imagine. See if there's any new crew stuff. Looks like Colonel Miller. He considered me to be delusional and egotistic. I hated his closed-mindedness and stubbornness, but now I can feel the pain his inability to help the situation in any way causes him. He lost everything, all because of me. His only daughter, my beloved wife, Anna, was all he has left to live for now. Thus, we must forget everything that stands between us to save her. Or at least, give our best trying. And some new stuff for Katya and Nastya. Katya is beside herself with worry, and she blames herself for misattributing the symptoms of Anna's poisoning. Katya managed to stabilize Anna's condition after the bout during the wedding, and says she knows how to cure my wife, but she obviously doubts her own competence, constantly comparing herself with her mom, who used to be a real doctor and scientist. The... Uh... The Renergan F. Medicine Katya told us about seems to be Anna's only hope. There's nothing else to hope for. So I have to believe this medicine's power and Katya's ability. Katya promised me to make sure that Anna survives our trip. To 
Novosibirsk, no matter what. We only need to get there, and then it all depends on me. Katya, please be right. Looks like there's something new for Sam as well. I think about you sometimes, Sam, now that our journey is nearing its end, be it happy or otherwise. What will you do? You've dedicated your whole being to us. First to the Order, then to saving your commander, and finally to saving my Anna. But what will you do once our train reaches the end of its line in the middle of nowhere? Will you stay with us? When the journey is really over? Your old man might still be waiting for you back in California, keeping tackle ready to go fishing once you come back. Aren't you going to visit him once the Aurora stops to never move again? Will you even hesitate to set out for home, even if that would mean walking to uh, Vladivostok and swimming across the ocean? Something new for Alyosha as well. And in the River Valley, we had such high hopes for where we sunk Crest's rail car and were almost killed ourselves, Alyosha found just that, the love of his life, as he himself puts it. He found her and almost immediately had to leave her behind. Since he, like a good friend that he is, couldn't abandon us before we reached our goal in uh, Novosibirsk. I'm totally butchering that. Novosibirsk. Novosibirsk. Though I'm sure that he will come back to his Olga, after all. Alyosha hates farewells too much to never return. Looks like that's all the new stuff I want to read. Ah, Artyom, you know, it's just not a friendly guy. You're the most interesting person with the police, and we're looking for someone else. Вот пошли бы все вместе, и в полчаса бы нашли то, что надо. А так вы там вдвоем будете черти сколько копаться. Но ничего, мы в Академгородке быстро разберемся и к вам. Хотя с тобой никакого веселья, небось, не получится. Как на мосту было. Ну красота же, стреляй как в тире. Нет, миндальничал с сектантами этими. Ну, в любом случае, если что, вы только вызовете. Мы мигом. Скажи, Дамир. Верно говоришь. Подумаешь, радиация. Sorry, I made it boring for you. А, Анна, right. Nothing more to do. Already talked with them. They're sleeping. Oh, this must be the experimental suits that Tokarev is making to protect us from the radiation. Artyom, I didn't say anything before. Well, in general, listen. There was a machine for me, a complete loss. I only took one time. The weapons, in which you can still throw the gun in the air, I took the gun in the air. Но вот всего восемь патронов в магазине. И вот девятого патрона мне как раз не хватило. Бандюки семью мучили, я не выдержал. Ни разу не промахнулся, всех положил. А на последнего урода не хватило. Когда ребята из Ордена появились, я уже и не знал, жив ли нет ли. Решил, что ангелы по мою душу. Так вот, знаешь я к чему? Нас сейчас больше, чем у меня патронов тогда. Мы справимся. И вы у меня будете в свинце добровей пыхтеть, но справитесь. Это спирт. I guess that's all they were going to say. It looked like they were having like a dramatic thought. Katya's note. Boys, the medicine is called Renergan F, but besides it, be on the lookout for antibiotics. The best would be, uh, oh, let's try to pronounce these. I can pronounce the second one, amoxicillin. 
That's easy. Ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin. Uh, but grab whichever you find anyways. We won't get her to Novosibirsk if we let any infection to add to gas damage. Also, try to find some ethamcillate. I only have two doses left. And some medical gelatin in case bleeding to start again. If you see anything else, like antiseptics, surgical suture, or bandages, pack it all. We can never have too much of that. But still, first things come first. It's dizzying to look at the side. We're going so fast. Hey, how's it going? Everybody's kind of trying to cheer themselves up and everybody around them. But yeah, I mean, the order has been through so much and we persevered and we haven't... We haven't lost anybody, right? No. No, we haven't lost anybody. I like that there's all these spots you can smoke in. Back there. Over here. And then in between the trains. Let's gear up for the next mission. Spent a surprising amount of my resources. Let's make a bunch of medkits. Uh, I'll go up to four. God, I really don't have much chemicals. Mm. Oh, right. I used up all my shotgun on the master. Let's make a bunch of that. Oh, that's basically all my stuff. Oh, I have new stuff for the Helsing. What do I have? Pneumatic bow system. Speeds up the crossbow reloading process, increasing its rate of fire considerably. Oh, that's cool looking. Yeah, so it doesn't even have, like... It, it doesn't have, like, uh, rope or strings or whatever these things are to, like, put under tension. Just all pneumatic. Just... Like, pistons. Forex scope is good. High capacity magazine reduces my stability a bit. Mm. Do I really need to carry two extra bolts? 
to lose quite a bit of stability? I don't think so. Green laser. Yep, easier to see. Oh, right, I can go back to the T-car if I want. No thanks. Right. Uh, well, let's switch out the shotgun. I don't want the A-shot. I want... What was it called? Oh yeah, I want this to be... This one's easy. I want this to be the bulldog. Thing's amazing. Gonna go for the sniper thing again. So that. Long barrel and compensator. Heck yeah. 6x scope. Mm, I didn't need the biggest magazine. That takes a pretty high hit to stability. Extended. Was that fine? Or just a normal magazine? Just a normal magazine's fine. That one hurts stability too much. <clears throat> Red laser. Yeah. That's good. So this one, I want the Shambler, that's what it was called. Biggest stock, long barrel, duck bill choke, more damage, more accuracy, more stability. Hmm, let's go for the long barrel, most damage. Closed reflex sight, look at the fixed cylinder, I know it's way slower than the shotgun magazine, but it looks so cool. Red laser, and... That's good. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, that's everything. That's all fixed up. Extended filters, NVD amplifier, ammo pouches, compass. Yeah, ready to go. Oh, one thing first. Аня пока держится. Она верит в меня. Верит в нас и верит не зря. Тысячи километров остались позади. Перед нами Новосибирск. Мертвый город, в холодном радиоактивном сердце которого таится надежда на жизнь. Лекарство, способное спасти ее. Год назад мы покинули отравленные руины Москвы. И вот мы снова въезжаем в скованный зимой и радиацией город. Найдем ли мы когда-нибудь место, пригодное для жизни на поверхности? Может быть. Но сейчас мы возвращаемся в подземелье метро, чтобы спасти Аню. Given how extreme the radiation is, we're probably not going to meet any people, just monsters. Back to everything being frozen. Like at Volga. Все-таки добрались. Новосибирск. Хорошо бы там не очередные сумасшедшие. Полковник, мосты целый, и фон растет. Сумасшедших, похоже, не будет. Сэм, что там с радиацией? Восемь рожов выше, чем в Москве, и по-прежнему растет, полковник, сэр. Думаю, лучше тут на поверхности долго не быть. Hmm, that was a good question. Uh, that's Miller, right? That Miller brought up. If the radiation is so high, that implies a atomic bomb went off here. But if that went off, then wouldn't all the buildings be just crushed and leveled? But the buildings are intact. Ну что, готов, Артём? Давай за мной. Good luck. Мы вас не подведём. Тут все сложнее, чем мы надеялись. 
Времени нет, так что пойдем на пролом. Пройдемся по плану еще раз. Ермак. Аврору уведем на юг, на грузовую станцию Сибирская. Я на вашей карте отметил. Степан. Мы с крестом, Сэмом и идиотом отправляемся в корпус института в Академгородке. По пути заедем в железнодорожный музей. Может, для Авроры что-то найдется. Мы с ТТ на охране Авроры. Отлично. Мы с Артемом проверяем центральное здание института. Фон здесь сумасшедший. Так что попробуем пройти через метро. Ну, начали. Спартанцы, удачи всем. Увидимся на точке сбора. Удачи. Let's do this. So at least we don't have to worry too much about the radiation to begin with, because we'll be in the tunnels. But I'm sure once we pop out into the building that we're going to, uh, yeah, then we will have to worry and be quick. Ты, пожалуйста, присмотри за ней, пока мы с Артемом не вернемся. Договорились? Конечно, мы с Мишкой будем ее охранять. Правда, Мишка? Мишка пост принял. Она только заснула. Вы уже идете? Да. Надеюсь, успеем. Аня сильная, она вас дождется. Обязательно дождется. Вы только возвращайтесь. Спасибо, Катя. Заходи, Артем. Видишь, приступ удалось остановить. Так что не волнуйся, пульс четкий. Она просто вымоталась слишком. Теперь до завтра проспит, наверное. Возвращайся скорее. Для нее это будет лучшим лекарством. Они сильные, переборет. Главное, вернись. What is that thing? Artem, тут тебе не Москва, где ты месяцами прогуливался. Черт его знает, что тут за мутанты водятся. Подумай хорошенько, что взять с собой. Я жду у машины. Артем, принимай снаряжение. Ушки я почистил, в рюкзаке весь остаток ресурсов и патронов. Вам нужнее. Oh, another med kit, five minutes of filters. Oh, a bunch of resources. Um, oh, did I just gain an attachment? What was that? Hmm. Anyway, we're going to be fighting a lot of monsters. I mean, do I want to change what I have, though? This is a good combination, I think. Very powerful assault rifle. Very powerful shotgun. And a very powerful silent crossbow. I mean, maybe just make more ammo? I guess. Like, I could use more assault rifle ammo, definitely. Yeah, let's do that twice. Make a little bit more shotgun. I think that's... That's it, really. Could make a couple Molotovs. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There we go. Готовы. 
Ну, Артем, вот он, твой шанс. Последний. Ты меня понимаешь? Очень на это надеюсь. Поконим. Actually want to make one minor change. I've got the green laser on the bow. Uh, let's get the red laser and then I think that'll free up the green laser for here. Yes, I think it's more important on the assault rifle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're taking this thing. All right. All right, it's been modified to protect us from radiation and stuff. 